Well, uh, we've got, uh, got the wheel cylinders today for this thing. And, uh, I don't know the lighting is terrible in here as usual. But maybe it's a little idea here. We're not going to do too much. Kidding one bit when I say <coughs> tires are heavy. They say they are. Oh shit! I don't know what's going on. They're getting the lighting. Nothing to brag over here. I can't seem to get it right. If it'll stay there. That'd be good. Key screw here, got it. We need to do something about this light. I can't see anything either. These little square lights are pretty good, but there's no good way of fitting them up. Anything. Okay, well, I don't know how good you see it, but there's nothing fancy about this. There's no self adjusters or anything. This is one spring, and these little retainers here, that's what keeps it straight. And last time I had this off, I, well, I didn't lose the snap ring, but I couldn't get it on very good, so that we'll have to deal with. All right, let me see what we got to have. Get out. Oh, look like 7 sixteenths back here on the back. Them lights and everything's always in the way. Alrighty. Actually, it's easier to get these springs up by just using a screwdriver, I think.
one of the problems when you're trying to do something is you're trying to do the video on it and run it light at the same time, uh, you run into problems. This we got loose from the backside back there, so this is that one, and I'm hoping it's the same as the other one. Let me grab one of them new ones. Thanks for the back there. <clears throat> well, it looks to me like it is. Holes in the right place. And all that. And the blue see the bleeder screwed between there, that's right. Okie dokie, well hopefully I won't have to take these off again. And I uh must have lost my lock washer for that one bolt. Oh well. We'll find one up here. Yeah, this video is gonna be really chopped up because taking time to do one thing and then another. We'll turn these things so they're straight. Let's see, too far. A little something like that goes in there and this one. Something like that. All right. I don't know. That'll go through without me taking them caps off or not. No. Pull the caps off of it, I guess. I'm trying to get nothing bogus in there. I'm going here. A little something like that. Uh, there ain't much room. This is what I like a big old American car here, you know, a big old 50s model with plenty of room on everything. You know. Anything small is more of a trick. Actually, this one here is not quite back where it belongs. I don't know why. Well, that's not, but it's not exactly. I'll tell you what, you know, when I was probably in the 20s up to 40s, I could manipulate my hand a lot better with this, but something like this. But as time went on, I start losing your dexterity or what they call that. Kind of hate that too because this kind of thing is what I really enjoy doing. Not too good at it, but. There's that one now. Let's see. Get this editor one in here. Well, I'll tell you what, this kind of weather, especially here in mid mo you about have to have air conditioning in the evening at here in the morning. That's not a. Don't need that water. Too big. Do kind of need that boat, though. Before it went. That's not it. No, thanks. No, that's. That's something else. There's a snap ring, but don't really need that either. Okay, where'd you go? Where did you go? That one is short enough, and that's the right one. So I just didn't cut off. Keep going off, just dig me out another one. Yeah, that will do. That's what we're gonna do. Didn't get a, an exhaust pipe when I bought this motor, so I could cock it. The little ring did come with luck with it. The pipe didn't, but anyway, I, I can cock it a deal. I'm going to show you a little bit how I, what I did to it, and I think it's going to work just fine. So after I take it off, I'll show it to you. Alrighty, well, I, I didn't have a, anything to fit with this uh, little indention in here, so this piece of pipe I had was just too small. It didn't have this. So what I did is I went ahead and welded, as you can see, it crappy well, as usual. But anyway, I went ahead and did that and then turned it back down, and it seems to fit uh, very well in there. And then when I tightened it up, 
I really believe it's going to seal really good. I left a little lip right here uh, so that you know, when it goes in, it might seal better. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know anything about these motorcycles or, or four-wheeler engines because uh, they're completely Greek to me. But anyways, I think I pointed out I burned this hole in here with a plasma cutter. A piece of metal. That piece of metal you can see over there with that ring in it. I put that up there and keep the guard away from injuring the uh, engine. You know, so that's that much, and I'm going to get around. I got, the, as I said, I got the wheel cylinders in. Crudely put on the new brake line, as you might be able to see down there, about differential. Maybe a little handshake or something. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get rid of some bleeding brakes here pretty shortly, too. So, But i got to go in the house and get a new battery, because this one here down to the last bar. And I don't, you know, I guess it just shut right off. I never did run one to the very end. But anyway, we'll be back. we got something else.